Sydney, Vaughn's coordinating the team that's trying to recover Marshall. I'll be on con with you for the remainder of the mission. All right, Dixon. What can you tell me? I've tasked a KH-12 satellite over the area. Since the ruins aren't giving us as much visual interference as the museum, I'm reading your signal loud and clear. The trade-off is we lost the beacon from Marshall's carbon reader. We think Anna's men discovered his tracking system and destroyed it. Then I'll take a look around. One last thing. Before Marshall was taken, he was able to ping his remote hacking feed off a different CIA server. I've got operational control of his backup. If you need to hack a computer, I should be able to pick up Marshall's slack on my end. Intruder! Intruder! Hostile target spotted! <laughs> Intruder! Dixon, I've got a visual on a large bomb in the comms truck. Can you tell me what kind of explosive I might be dealing with? Hang on. I have to change the satellite imaging system. I'm picking up a nuclear emission. Base camp, repeat. Confirming. Anna has a tactical nuke. Oh my god. I'm not getting any kind of missile signature, and you're in the middle of the desert. Which means Anna's not going to bomb anyone. She most likely wants to cover her tracks. Hold your position. I have a lock on the fuel cell. I see it too, base camp. It looks like they're treating it in some way. The fuel cell is now stabilized for transport. Mr. Sark will take it to the next level in Bucharest. Any sighting of Bristol? Negative. My men have scoured the camp. There's no way she could have followed us. Then your men aren't doing their job, and you've been outwitted. Has the little one stopped crying? Then bring him out. Oh no. Base camp, I found Marshall. Sydney, I know you're out there. Do not give up your position. Repeat, do not reveal yourself. And unless you give yourself up in the next five seconds, I'll splatter your friend's brains all over my warhead. Five, four, three. No. 
please. Don't do this. Please, please don't. Um, Sid? Sydney! I'm here. I'm right here, Anna. <laughs> you always had a weak stomach when it came to collateral damage. Marshal, they completely disarmed me. I don't have any Optech left, do you? Well, actually, I I designed these trousers after some sweet parachute pants back when, you know, breakdancing was all the rage and you put the cardboard down and you do the spinning. Um, actually, if you dig around, I have a lockpick in one of these pockets. Hang on, I'm trying to work my hands around. There you go, uh, it's just a little lower, a little, little lower. Uh, <laughs> kinda, kinda tickles, actually. Um, no, I, you just went past it. You just went, uh, up. Oh, actually, <coughs> uh, <clears throat> sit, sit, mm. That's not the lockpick. That's not the, um, lockpick. Wait, there it is. You did it! We're saved! I know where Anna's taking the fuel cell. She mentioned Bucharest, something about Sark. We know. We followed the trace you put on Sark's driver in Monte Carlo. Before you encountered him in the museum, he made an unexpected stop in Bucharest to a maximum security psychiatric hospital. We tasked Humant on the ground to investigate. They reported back that the hospital administration recently changed hands. To a company whose sole stockholder is Arvind Sloan. The local corrupt government is using it as a gulag for political prisoners. Our sources were able to locate a patient roster list. Among those listed as insane were our missing field agent Jacobs and Neil Kaplan. Kaplan? I thought we had him in protective custody. We did. He left of his own free will and has been checking in with his wife regularly, telling her he's on a business trip. Your mission inside the asylum is twofold. First, extract Mr. Kaplan from the hospital. Given his bizarre behavior, be prepared for a hostile target. Second, retrieve the lost fuel cell. However, since we have multiple fuel samples for study and Anna has only one, we may advance to an acceptable loss scenario. Which is? Destroy the fuel cell at all costs. We're talking about a building filled with prisoners held against their will. How can I destroy the fuel cell without killing everyone inside? Destroy the fuel cell at all costs. Agent Vaughn? We've been running through hospital security. Access is controlled via a combination of keycard and biometric sensors. We haven't been able to pin down the exact combination. However, our sources tell us the local guards spend a lot of time around a tattoo parlor. You'll start there to obtain a key card. So, needless to say, thank you for saving my life. Again. <laughs> to be honest, I've sort of lost count how many times you've done that. That is, if you include things like averting international incidents. Well, the point is, I'd like to try to return the favor with this. Well, I analyzed the stabilizing element they used on the fuel cell from the last mission and basically designed its chemical opposite. Ionized nitroglycerin. Now, you may be thinking, gee, Marshall, that's really great, a highly volatile compound. I'd really prefer a box of chip 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 chocolates as a thank you. But you see, the deionization process should give you a few minutes to make your escape. That way you can come back alive before the, you know, the big... Bang. Thanks again. Okay, next up is this EMP gun. It disrupts electrical equipment up to nine feet away, which makes it good for disabling security cameras and things like that. Oh, and as a neat side effect, it also repulses light metal objects. So if you're, like, drinking a can of soda and you're done, you can do a hookshot into the trash. <laughs> I'm one for nine myself working on my shot. Finally, since you'll be looking for Kaplan, this device can identify a living person by their DNA. It has a limited range on the living, but since dead guys tell no tales and have no active DNA, you got to get right up to the corpse to read one. Now, we can program it with anyone's DNA from right here at the rotunda.
Hostile target spotted. Base camp, I don't see any key cards anywhere. Are you seeing this? It's the eye symbol tattoo from the followers of Rambaldi, but more complex. Yeah, you're right. Something seems a little, um, I don't know, off. Off? Uh, you know, askew. Not right. Strange. <laughs> the opposite of how perfectly normal. Now, the digital readout picked up a special die on the tattoo. That's the key card. If you want to get inside the asylum, you'll have to tattoo yourself. Well, the biometric sensors actually read the die, not the tattoo itself. So you won't be stuck with anything permanent. Although I was thinking about a yin and yang on the ankle myself. Something for, you know, sort of like a circle of life kind of thing, you know, like in that movie, great movie. I was kind of scared, though. It got kind of dark, and they went into the bone patch, you know. Um, I had to uh, cover my... I mean, I fast-forward through that part now that I, when I watch it.